everyone and welcome to a good old fashioned Walmart haul. I recently spent a little too much time on their website looking at the new arrivals, placed an order, it's all here and I'm excited to share it with you. Couple of things I want to address before we get to the try on. First of all, I get this question almost every day, where to find the links? And I'm happy to tell you there are three places to find the links. In the description box, everything is listed in the order in which I share it here with the sizing, prices and links there. I know the description box can be hard to find so I copy it and I paste paste it to the top of the comments section, sometimes easier to find. And also everything is screenshotted and uploaded to my page on the Shop LTK app if you wanna look there as well. If you still can't find it, I am happy to help you. Just send me a DM or an email and I'll walk you through it. Also, I'm just finishing up my first full week of wearing my Invisalign trays. The lisp is getting better. I'm gonna do my best to keep my trays in because I want this process to go as quickly as possible and they're already telling me at least 16 months. So thank you for your patience and your understanding. If you hear me lisping, there's a reason, Invisalign trays. Let's get down to the actual try on. Outfit number one, or I should say piece number one, I'm really excited about. It's from Time and True. And if it looks somewhat familiar, it is because last year, Walmart released a very similar item, very much inspired by the Rails button front shirts, really soft, fluid, tensile-like fabric, love them. They sold out super quickly. It looks like this is a reiteration of that, slightly different patterns. I think it's the same price point. This time I did not size up. I went with my regular size and it seems like it's a generous oversized fit. So I would recommend sticking with your true size on this one. There are four patterns available. The one that I picked also seems to almost have a little bit of a texture, like a little crinkle fabric to it. So really travel friendly as well. And I do want to mention that under each item in the description box or in the comments, there will be the item name, the link, the price and the sizing. And then underneath that, it will say full outfit linked here or full outfit links. And I have linked anything else you're seeing. So in this case, the shoes and the pants, et cetera. Item number two is another button front shirt. This is a double pocket utility style. It has the tabs on the sleeve so you can roll them up and they will stay rolled up or you can wear them full length. The material is 100% lyocell, which is super nice as we're transitioning from, for most of you, winter into spring. In my world, it's more like spring into summer. We're hit 90 soon. So it's a really lightweight, flowy fabric, but I love that the longer sleeves are still an option because that does give you some sun protection. I absolutely adore this orchid lavender color, but it also comes in a solid black. Piece number three is from Time and True, and it's a really nice split neck top. I love the angle of the sleeves, a little bit of a flutter sleeve. It's a very flattering cut. We're gonna talk about the jeans a little bit later on when we get to bottoms right now, focusing on tops. I love this idea. Instead of a typical cotton t-shirt that you're gonna throw on with some jeans, this is a little dressed up, a little more sophisticated, but it's still super casual. The fabric is really lightweight and flowy. I prefer a V-neck, but a split neck is just a little, even a little bit better. It just lays a little bit more nicely. And I do wanna point out that the buttons that are going down, just I think there's three buttons there, are actually functional. They are attached with little elastic loops. If you wanna open it up more, you absolutely can. For item number four, it's another nice basic top. I know so many of you are sick of the front tuck, the French tuck, the side tuck, or you just don't want to tuck it in at all. And not everything needs to be tucked in. And this shirt in particular, I think looks really nice, not tucked in, particularly because of the ombre colors. Is it, you know, the different colors as it goes from darker to lighter, but also just the way it's almost like a little bit of a swing shape or an A-line cut. And if you pair it with something like these very long patch pocket style jeans, you get a little bit more of a boho look, but it's not so much material that it's overwhelming. And even though it's sleeveless and a little bit almost like a tank, you can still wear your regular bra with this. I should point out it's also a linen blend and I love this top so much. I went ahead and ordered another one. It comes in, I believe, three other patterns and colors and I wanted one that was predominantly white. It has a little bit of blue stitching and I'm gonna share that with you in another Walmart video coming later this month. For outfit number five, I understand this looks a little bit crazy, but hear me out. So if you didn't know, and you may know if you are a newsletter subscriber, let's pause for a moment. I send out a newsletter every single Friday morning. You have to subscribe to it. I'll put the link up there and down in the description box. And it comes out every Friday. I include a weekly picture of the dogs. I include what I'm reading that week. 
a little bit of a wrap up, my five Friday favorites, any sale info, just general chit chat and a little bit of personal insights here and there. And so I've shared in my newsletter, I'm really getting into gardening and I need gardening clothes. Well, it gets super hot, which means I want active wear or more fitness type wear. And so I've been looking for a nice wearable pair of shorts and a top to go with it. If you hate wearing shorts, you will love these shorts because they have almost like a skirt light look to them because they're very flowy and lightweight. I don't know why I'm flapping my hands, but they also have the built in bike shorts for some more modesty. I'm always worried that if I bend over when I'm wearing shorts, I'm going to expose all this stuff to the world. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. So I love having that little extra layer in there, but the shorts themselves are really lightweight. They come in a bunch of colors. I'd say they run true to size. And then they have all these coordinating cute little perforated tees that go with them. If you want the look of a set. However, there's two things I like to add to my gardening outfit. And I will admit that if I'm really getting into it and kneeling down, I probably want to wear pants, especially in Texas. Gardening can be a full contact sport, but I wanted some extra sun protection in addition to my SPF. So I love this wider brimmed bucket hat it will give me that. And it has an adjustable tie in the back so you can make it fit your head just right. But also gardening clogs don't really work in Texas because we have bugs in our soil that will kill you. <laughs> We have fire ants, those won't kill you, but they really hurt. We have scorpions, venomous centipedes, snakes. So I want boots when I am working in the garden and I have hunter rain boots, but they're very tall. They're very heavy. We'll talk about the boots later when we get to accessories towards the end, but I just want to point out there is a reason to these pieces all together. <laughs> so now that we've talked about the shorts, let's fully segue into talking about some of the bottoms that I found on Walmart's website. First, let's go 180 degrees. So I just shared shorts and now I'm going to share with you these tailored wide leg linen pants. So if you need a pair of trousers for a more conservative work environment for a dressier event that you're going to, these pants are phenomenal. I will say they run true to size, but they have a longer inseam length. They are meant to be worn with a heel or if you're blessed with really long legs, they're not. They're a 31 and a half inseam. They come in black, white, white, that bright raspberry pink, beige, and then white with a thin black stripe. So lots of options. There's no pockets on the back, full pockets in the front. The waist I would say is very forgiving. You don't need to size down one, but you will have room, especially if you want to tuck something in. It has a zip front and then like the two hooks and then the button on the inside. So it's a nice flat front. They are beautifully made. They look and feel far more expensive than they are. And when I came out to show my husband, he goes, oh, did you get those at Nordstrom? No, <laughs> I got them at Walmart. Item number seven, I said we'd talk about later. We have reached that point where it is later. So the patch pocket jeans trend is huge. We've seen them on very, very expensive premium denim. I've shared a few that I found on Walmart's website before, but they sell out super quickly. I have seen them restocked a couple of times, so hoping they continue to do that. In the meantime, I found these, and I love that they offer a white version. They have a huge size range. I believe it's zero to 22. The smaller sizes are starting to sell out from where I am. And remember Walmart's online system, depending on where you are in the world can show fully stocked in one place, five miles away out of stock. So just go online and see the like kind of roll the dice, see what, what comes up on your inventory. But from where I'm sitting sizes 12 through 22 still show fully in stock, which is really nice. These are long. They have a 32 inch inseam and I will say they are sized very generously. So if you can size down one, I did not. So you're seeing them in my regular size and it's not crazy. I'm thinking I can just throw them in the wash in hot water and then dry them on high and they'll probably shrink just enough, but they're very forgiving in the waist, very stretchy. I should should say I'm filming this the day of the eclipse. It is officially over, but the lighting is getting bizarre. So thanks for bearing with me here. Okay. Item number eight, who am I to show you two pairs of shorts? Not one, but two. If you've been around here a long time, you know that I've not loved wearing shorts. I still don't love them. I'd prefer just a dress, but these are pretty awesome. They are a hundred percent Lyocell. So it's that really nice, soft, super lightweight fabric. It basically feels like you are wearing silk really nice. They come in two denim washes, like a light wash and a medium wash and soft black. In addition to this 
olive green shade. They're a pull on style, they're high rise. I don't know the exact length of the inseam, but I like that they're a little bit longer. I'm not a fan of like three inch inseam. It's just not for me. And they do run true to size. And I do think everyone needs like one go-to pair of shorts that aren't denim in their wardrobe for spring and summer. And these definitely fit the bill. We're on to item number nine. And if it looks vaguely familiar, it's because I shared these earlier when I bought them in pink. And when I was doing research for another video, I saw they had added more colors and I decided I needed them. They're calling this cream. I say it's a light khaki. It doesn't really matter. It's the same pair. I love them. They're a great basic. What I love about them is the inseam is a little bit shorter. I am a little bit shorter. I am five foot four. And I think it's a 26 and a half inch inseam if I remember correctly. And so I like that they hit me right where I want on the ankle, but I also like that it gives me kind of two pairs of pants in one. You can wear them with the bungee cord at the bottom, not cinch tight. So it's more of a slim straight leg fit, or you can pull it tight and get a jogger look. Either way, they're super comfortable. It has a nice elastic waist with a drawstring, very lightweight material, great for spring, also good for summer as well. Moving into the next section of clothing, we're gonna talk about a jumpsuit and then dresses, and we'll finish up with some random things and accessories. So as far as dresses and jumpsuits, I've heard from a lot of you that you are not into dresses, and that is okay. I have found you an alternative. If you need to get a little dressed up, I would say dressy casual, this satin jumpsuit is stunning. It also comes in black, navy, olive green, and white. So you could go with a really bright statement pink over there, or if you want something a little more elegant, a little sophisticated, go with the navy or the black. It is so comfortable. It comes with the tie belt, but of course you can swap that out for your own belt if you wanna jazz it up a little bit. It does run true to size. I am packing this on a trip that's coming up to wear to dinner. I cannot wait to wear this. 11 is a Walmart classic. Every year, Sophia Jeans comes out with their version of a faux wrap dress and this is this year's. It's just, it's so beautiful. It is amazing that this is under $30. It's $26. I would say it runs true to size, goes up to size 5X. It's a faux wrap, so you don't have to worry about the top coming open or the, the bottom. It gives the illusion of a wrap dress without the anxiety that comes with a wrap dress. The belt is removable, and I would prefer probably to, to swap it out for any other kind of belt. If you wanted a little more casual, I love a raffia belt. If you wanted it to look a little dressier, maybe a thin, more metallic belt. Or if you don't wanna draw so much attention to your waist, then keep the belt with the matching fabric. So it just all kind of blends and make you look a little bit longer too. Number 12 is actually what I am wearing right now. It's the perfect transition when it's still a little bit cool. So you get a breeze, you want your arms covered up but it's warm enough to still have bare legs. This is from the line Beach Lunch Lounge, which is a brand I've seen at Nordstrom, so it's kind of cool to see it over at Walmart. I love this. I love the little embroidery. I even like these little tassels, which normally I cut off. They may eventually get cut off. We shall see. The only thing I don't love about this is it doesn't have pockets. I don't think that is a deal breaker. It has elastic on the cuffs, but it's not a tight elastic, as you can see, it's not digging into me. It also means that if I wanna push this up somewhere and blouse it out, it's gonna stay where I put it, which is also nice. It's really soft, it's really flowy. Like I said, it's great for the transition when it's not full on summer and you want bare arms, or maybe you want your arms covered. This is lightweight enough that you can wear this in warmer weather too. And it also comes in more of like a light denim wash with the same embroidery. Number 13 might be my favorite piece from this whole haul, but I don't think the lighting does this justice. So do me a favor when you're done with this video, click on the link just to see the pictures on the website. This bright yellow is so pretty. It would look better on me if I hadn't forgotten to fake tan. So you're seeing me in all my pale glory. It's just such a well-made dress. It is under $30. It's a really pretty cotton material. And then that white floral design is actually stitched on. It does have pockets, a little bit of an empire waist or how do you say that? I mean, I know that you it reads empire, but I think I've seen people say empire just under the bust. Did I say it has pockets? I think it. I did. That yellow is beautiful, but if you are not a yellow person, I know it's not for everyone. It also comes in the same print where the main color is navy and then it has the white stitching and then also just a solid white. I also wanna add that it is fully lined. It's just a really pretty dress. And for me, the surprising favorite out of this whole haul. The last dress of this haul before we get to the random part, it's a sleeveless cotton dress. It's gathered. It has a self-tying drawstring waist. It is so, it just screams 
Dreams Coastal. It's so pretty. I will say that it is a razorback cut. So you're gonna have to wear a razorback bra or let your bra show. It's up to you. But if you don't want it to show, you're gonna need a razorback. I love the white with the blue stripe. To me, it's just very coastal, very ethereal and airy, just like the quintessential summer dress. But it also comes in a navy pattern, a solid bright pink and an olive green as well. I will say this thing is super, super roomy. I'm wearing it in the extra small and I'm kind of swimming in it a little bit. So if you can size down one, or if you just want a lightweight flowy dress for when you know it's gonna be hundred degrees outside, this is the one for you. And now onto the random part of the haul. First, this swimsuit. I am not modeling the swimsuit for you for so many reasons, but this basic one piece is not all that basic. First of all, this color, I just, I love this blue. It's so pretty and it's so summery, but look, I don't know if you can see the fabric. See that crinkle texture? It's a really cool texture. So it is a basic one piece swimsuit, it has a little bit of a scoop in the back. I'd say the coverage on the rear end is good. And I really like that it has the built-in molded cups. These things aren't gonna swim around. They're gonna cover any poke through. And there is a pretty decent amount of support. You can also see it has a little band sewn in underneath the cups to lift everybody up. And the front doesn't dip down too, too low. So for those of you who want a little more coverage up top, this one is so cute. It comes in a bunch, like a bunch of colors. But this blue to me, I just, I could not resist. I love it. I did just place an order for a cover up for this. And like I said, there's a second Walmart video coming later this month. So keep a lookout for that. I did pick up two new pairs of shoes. The first one you saw with the very first outfit, these silver mules. I love how pointy they are. They're just a little bit different. They do have the memory foam insole. They're not like flat to the ground, but they're obviously flat. I do want to say I'm a little surprised. Usually time and true, very, very consistent in their sizing. I grabbed these in my usual size seven and my heel comes right to the edge of the heel. I mean, it doesn't hang over, but it's right there. So I would say if you are in between sizes, you could size up a half size and I think it would still be just fine. I didn't find it to be too narrow or loose up here, just a little short on the shoe. I also mentioned these technically rain boots when I shared my little gardening outfit or workout outfit. And I just wanna give a few more details. First of all, I love that they're cream. I have never seen rain boots in this color. So they're obviously meant to be rain boots, but great to wear in the garden. They're a little on the shorter side. So I'm not gonna be completely encased in a rubber-like material and get super hot. They're also adjustable on the calves if you want them a little more fitted. I prefer them fully open, so like they're a little bit looser. And then look how cute. Not that anyone's gonna see these, but the lining is adorable as well. And these do run true to size. I mentioned the yellow dress is my favorite, I would say clothing piece from the haul, but I have to share it with you. Yes, another handbag. And if you love handbags, you're gonna love the next video. It's my entire updated handbag collection, not including bags that I've talked about specifically in videos before so this one isn't included but look at this tote this woven tote it's all the rage we've all seen the woven totes in a variety of price points but here's why I'm super excited about this first of all this color I love this creamy cool toned beige I love the solid handles that I can easily get over my shoulder a lot of these woven totes are very short on the strap length but here's the best part it has a magnetic closure and it's fully lined isn't it? and it has a nice bottom and it comes with a matching little zip pouch and, and it has a big zip pocket here. And then on this side has a couple more slip pockets for organizing. It's just a really, really well-made bag comes in I think black and more of a cognac brown as well. You're gonna be seeing this one a ton. Like I just love how it has a nice structured flat bottom. This is a great bag. No one is talking about this. London Fog, I think it's under $30. And then the last totally random purchase that I made is more work related for me. I live backed up to a big, beautiful canyon and some of that canyon is being turned into housing. And the machines that are making that happen are very, very loud, which makes it really hard for me to listen to myself while I'm editing videos, which is how I justified this purchase. These are the new, I don't know why they're calling them AirPods, but they're calling them AirPod Maxes. They're basically good Good old fashioned over the ear headphones. They're noise canceling. I can't even hear myself, hang on. I know I've talked about how much I love my Raycon earbuds and I do, and I will link those below. They're not on Walmart 
They're from Amazon. Everyone in my family has them. If you want earbuds that actually fit in your ear and you can you know, like shake your head around and wear them to run and work out, you'll love those. But if I'm sitting for hours editing, anything that sticks in my ear starts to hurt. So I wanted good old fashioned these kind. And the other reason why I love these why I went with Apple is because they automatically connect to all of my devices. So if I'm editing on my laptop, I'm listening that way. If I get a phone call and I answer on my phone, it automatically switches over to my phone. It just makes it a lot easier to actually get work done. So if you are wondering about the AirPod Maxes, I can tell you they are amazing. They don't exactly fit with the rest of my haul, but I'm just sharing all the things that I ordered off of Walmart recently. Well, the light is fading. So I guess that is my cue to take my leave. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that a few things caught your eye. Let me know if they did down in the comments. And if I glossed over something too quickly or you couldn't find something, any questions that you have, of course, please let me know. I love hearing from you. Thanks for hanging out and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.